Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Zuber, author of One Rental at a Time. Thank you for watching. What we're going to talk about today in this video is the 15 hottest real estate markets across the country. This article was featured in Forbes, and I received a copy from one of the subscribers. So I wanted to shout out Brian. Brian, thank you very much for sending it to me. You knew I was going to create this video, so thank you very much. Folks, when you watch a one rental at a time video, I want you to know a couple of things. First and foremost, I do all of these live, no editing. Sometimes you hear my phone ring. Sometimes you hear my dog bark. This is just because I enjoy real estate investing. I enjoy money. I enjoy trying to figure out what is going on with the consumer. Something else you will see is I am here to help. I am talking about real estate investing, money, cost of capital, consumers, because it's what I look at every day. It's what I use to make decisions, and I am sharing it with you. I am not here to create videos that get clicks like stimulus and things of that nature. I instead want to talk about the business of real estate investing. So if you're interested in that, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Also realize that I'm going to create two to three videos a day. None of my videos are edited, so I just read something talk about it, give you a project walkthrough, and the video's up, and we are good to go. So hopefully you like that. Hopefully you appreciate it. And of course, I'm the only one interacting here. So if you have a comment or a question, or you want to send me an article, just link it below in one of the comments, and I will be the one to review it. So without further ado, let's share this great presentation. Again, Brian, thank you very much for sending it. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the author of the article. His name is Andrew, it's right there, DePietro. Again, it was written by Forbes uh, on yesterday, October 26th. There is the link. I will, of course, put that as the first line in the description. So if you want to go read the article yourself, you could go ahead and do that. So do me a favor. Hit the pause button. Oh, first, do me a favor. Think of what you think one of the top 15 cities are. Maybe think two or three. Once you have the two or three that you think are hot, hit pause and send me a comment. Let's see how you did. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go 15 all the way to one. I've tried to capture all the variables across the article. There was a lot. Uh, I think I was able to do that about 90% of the time. A couple of the cities didn't have all the variables, or at least if they did, I didn't see them. But again, we are going to go 15 to 1. I would love to hear from you what you think these hot markets are. So after reading the list, I did have a couple of takeaways, just to tease it a little bit. There were no major markets, at least what I would call a major market. I believe all of these markets are what I would call quality of life markets not urban, not high rise space. Um, you, get, you get a lot of bang for your buck, but also not small. I would not call any of these areas small. I was really excited by this list as I went through it, read the article a few times. One thing that is very common is inventory is down. I think one of the markets inventory is down almost 80%. The number one market is almost 80% down. Most markets are down 50%. In addition to that, demand and price are up. Uh, I think all of the markets were up at least 20% uh, over a two year period. But most importantly, as I'm reading this, as I'm internalizing this information with my 20 years of experience, what I could say is all 15 of these markets will be up in the next 12 months. But more importantly, buy and hold investor here, so I believe rent is going to be up. If there is a demand for housing, housing prices will rise. Eventually housing prices will be too expensive and renters will come in. So if you're gonna be a single family landlord, these 15 cities are worth a look. I believe one rental at a time done in any of these 15 cities is a good idea. The other thing, if you are investing in one of these 15 markets or thinking about it, I want to tell you three things to think about because these markets are hot, hot, hot today, but they may not always be hot, hot, hot. So what could, what could, what is making them hot first, right? Is it 
they're close to a major urban city like New York or San Francisco? Are they in a tax friendly state like Nevada? Are they, um, you know, a flight away from other areas? Do they have great outdoors? Ask yourself these questions. Why? Why are these hot? Second, will it continue? Is the trend that made this city hot something that is continuing or was it just one off fluke kind of thing? And then finally, what has to happen to stop it? For example, what happens if work for home reverses? I'm not saying it will, I'm just saying what if? What happens if the state implements state taxes? Does that change, right? What is something that could change it? So again, we're gonna talk about the 15. If you find one that you're investing in or you're thinking about investing in, make sure you ask yourself those three questions so you don't overinvest, or more importantly, don't get caught buying at the peak. Why is it hot? Will it continue? And what would stop it? Okay, all right. Well, remember, we're gonna get into the top 15. So if you haven't given me your guess yet, hit pause, leave your guess below. Let's see how you did. Number 15, Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York's up about 23% in two years. Median price, 239 grand. That was um, surpri surprising to me, one sec. <laughs> Sorry about that. I told you uh, these are all done live. Uh, so again, median price was 239 today, 2020. That surprised me. I didn't know you could buy something in New York for that. I guess every time I hear New York, I'm thinking New York City. Inventory is down 50%. And wow, I can't believe that. Average home is on the market nine days. I would say Rochester, New York is on fire. Number 14. This one surprised me. Uh, Sacramento, California, up 20%. Wow, look at that, $554,000. It's hard to believe that that's cheap for California. Inventory is down 55% and 10 days on market, a very hot market. I can't believe Sacramento is over half a million dollars. That's just crazy. Number 13, Salt Lake City, Utah. Values are up about 12% in two years, 461,000. Inventory though, whew, down 62%. I'm guessing prices are gonna go up here shortly. And of course, days on market now is only 16. That's really fast. Number 12, Riverside, California. Prices are up about 18% in two years. 476 for a median price. That's that's pretty expensive for Riverside. That's that's like the Inland Empire. Kind of like the Fresno of SoCal, really. Inventory is down 40%. And days on market is 36. This is Riverside's a really sprawling location. So days on market sometimes approaches a hundred. So to have 36 days on market is uh, is pretty good. Number 11, ah, oh, my favorite market. This is where I've been for 20 years, not changing. Fresno, California. Prices are up 30%. Of the three markets in California, this is the cheapest, right? Sacramento was what, 560. Uh, Riverside was what, 460. And now we have 376 for Fresno. Inventory down 60%. And days on market, nine. Nine. That's remarkably fast. Number 10, I'm going to say this wrong. Worcester? I have no idea how to say that. War Worcester? I don't know. Massachusetts. Up 20% in two years. Medium price, 396. Inventory is down 40% year on year. I couldn't find days on market in the article. If you see it, let me know. But I didn't see it. I looked for it pretty good. Number nine, Indianapolis, Indiana. I, I know there's a bunch of you looking at Indianapolis. It's one of those markets where you can quote unquote get cheap houses. It's up 20% in two years. Median price right around 300. Inventory is down 50%. I'm guessing a lot of that's outside investors coming in. And wow, seven days on market, seven. Man, that, that's some investor money right there. Woo. 
Number eight, Richmond, Virginia. I got a lot of followers from Richmond, Virginia. Up 20% in two years. Uh, the average wasn't listed, but I'm sure they, they will tell me. If you're, if you're a watcher from Richmond, Virginia, tell me, if, tell me what the median price is in Richmond. I'd love to know. Inventory is down 50%. And again, really fast at 10 days on market. Wow, just crazy. Seven, Stockton, California. It's up 21% in price. It's 472. So right around the price of Riverside, California. I'm still liking Fresno. Fresno is only 376, I think it said. Inventory is down 60% in Stockton. Wow. And 10 days on market. Number six, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Up 20% in two years. Price 285, 285,000. Inventory down 60% year on year. And again, days on market, 11. Just amazing. Killeen, Texas. I got to tell you, I've never heard of Killeen, Texas. I hear it's just, uh, it's around Austin, but I've never heard of Killeen, Texas. Price is up about 18% in two years. I believe this is the cheapest median, but I could be wrong at 252. Uh, inventory down 65%. My guess is you're getting some movement from the big cities out to Colleen, Texas. Uh, you're just getting more bang for your buck. Days on market, 15. Wow. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Price is up 33% in two years. 292, so knocking on the door of 300. Inventory down 50% and 11 days on market. All right, folks, we got the top three. Anybody, if you're going to guess the top three, Hit pause right now and tell me what you think the top three is. I'll give you a second. Go ahead and hit pause. List the top three in the comments. Let's see how you did. All right, number three. What's that say? Ogden, Utah. Hopefully I said that right. Again, up 20% in the last two years, 420K. Look at that inventory, down 71%. These people talking about housing crashes don't know what the hell they're talking about. How can you have a housing crash when supply is down 71%? Shoot, supply could double and you'd still be down 30%. 11 days on market. Number two, Provo, Utah. Price is up 20%, median 452. Inventory down 79%. I'm guessing there's a lot of California money going, I'm going to Utah. A lot of folks leaving probably Washington and Oregon as well, going out to Utah. Again, 14 days on market. So the number one market, you got to guess, Boise, Idaho. I've been to Boise once or twice. Beautiful, beautiful city. You up 20% last two years, median price 430, inventory down 80 seven percent 87 percent that is unimaginable to me and again days on market of 10 so that's the list of 15 is your city in there just curious did you get any of them right and just so you know the article did close with what is the coldest housing markets uh, so they said the colding housing markets are either a vacation spots Think Hawaii, Florida, Nevada, or dense urban like we keep talking about, New York and San Francisco. So at the end of the day, that is the hottest 15 markets. Again, if you're in those markets or thinking about investing in those markets, do your homework, learn your market, because just because you talk about a city like Fresno's number 11, there's lots of different pockets of Fresno. You've got to learn your market, learn your asset type. What is average? What is good? What is great? You got to ask yourself, why is it hot? Fresno's hot because they're not building. Incomes are up. The market's okay for jobs because, again, it's food, agriculture, service. Um, they're getting some Bay Area money. Millennials are buying. It's a good time in Fresno. But learn your market. Ask, will it continue? Will it continue? Right? Is it going to be just a one-year thing? And then finally, what would stop it? For example, what would stop Fresno is if the 376, what I think it was, if that went to like 460 or 490, like most of the other cities, that would put a dent on Fresno. 
But again, remember one rental at a time, we bought, we're landlords. So I think all of these cities, prices are going to go up as demand goes up and then rents will follow. I am very excited by rent growth in each of these 15 cities. But again, I only know one in detail. So if you're in these markets, let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. And again, Brian, thank you for sending me the article. If you're a subscriber and you think you have a real estate or investing article that I should read, put it in the comments. I could give you a shout out just like I'm doing to Brian. Take care, everyone. Thanks.